Hello everyone and welcome to today's webinar on heart diseases. Heart disease remains the leading cause of death in the United States. Your prompt actions can mean the difference between life and death during a heart attack. If the person is experiencing a heart attack, blocked blood flow to the heart tissue results in muscle death. Keep in mind the mantra, time is muscle. Prompt response and medical attention is critical to limiting damage to the heart muscle. Chest discomfort can be described as ache, pressure, squeezing, or crushing. Certain persons, such as women and diabetics, are less likely to have classic signs of heart attack. These individuals may experience nausea or unexplained fatigue. Shortness of the breath could be the only sign of an impending heart attack for some individuals. Denial often adds a significant delay in seeking care. Many persons argue that they are too young or too healthy to have a heart attack. Even those with minimal risk factors can suffer a heart attack, however. Aspirin keeps blood clots from growing larger and may re reduce the severity of a heart attack. If there's no true allergy to aspirin, no serious bleeding, and no signs that suggest a stroke, give aspirin to the person. To care for someone who may be having a heart attack, first keep the person in yourself calm. Have the person sit or lie down. Activate the emergency medical system by calling 911. Give two to four baby aspirins or half to a full adult aspirin tablet. Make sure the aspirin is not enteric coated. Be prepared to administer CPR. A heart attack is a life-threatening medical emergency. Persons with symptoms of a heart attack should be transported to the hospital via emergency medical services. Do not allow a person suspected of having a heart attack to drive themselves to the hospital. Encourage the person to wait until EMS arrives. If they refuse, find someone to go with them. Don't forget, online BLS certification is available on our site. You can find a link in the description. We encourage you to become certified as soon as possible, whether that be in a classroom or on your own time with an online course. So thank you so much for tuning into today's webinar, and we will catch you guys the next time.